Summer in the Show Me State. Long and hot, at times draining, but the reward for enduring the offseason and the test of training camp. Fall Saturdays are here again. One mission, great focus, great focus together. The town, the stadium, the players, the coaches, the fans, the intensity, the pageantry, the Tigers are back. Show Me 2018, the Mizzou football preview, is presented by Bud Light, official sponsor of Mizzou Athletics, reminding you to enjoy responsibly. University of Missouri Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way. And Shelter Insurance, for your auto, home, and life, we're your shield, we're your shelter. And to start off our Show Me 2018 Mizzou Football Preview Special, we're joined by the head coach, Barry Odom. Our conversation presented by Bud Light, a proud sponsor of Mizzou Athletics, reminding you to drink responsibly. And coach, game week is here. How does the tone and the feel change as now you're into these final few days before the season starts? Well, our, our, our kids are excited, and, and they should be, because they've poured uh, a lot of hours into the preparation on getting to this point. You look at spring ball and then the summer part of, of our Schedule has really ramped up the last couple of years on what we uh, are allowed to do during that time with, with the football instruction. And then get into fall camp. And, and it's about to the point that they're tired of you know, going against each other. You've got a ton of returners on this team, lots of experience. Tell me about your captains and how they're helping to lead this team right now. We named five guys last week. I think it was important to wait uh, to let fall camp play out uh, because there's, there's a lot of moving parts that happen you know, from the time that that spring ball's over to, to our first game. And uh, you know, there's continual work for, for all the guys to lead, not just because you're the captain or didn't get it voted that way, but I think the five guys that our team voted uh, without, without question are, are leaders of our program. Brian Walters has the defensive coordinator title now, and, and how has he uh, taken the reins of that group, and, and maybe what changes has he made? Well, I'm proud of him uh, and, and the way that he's worked and approached it, and also that side of the ball working together. Uh, there's not any egos in the room. So there's you know, always uh, ideas and ways to do things and, and to make your program better. And collectively, defensively, uh, they put together a plan that puts our guys in position, the best position, uh, for them to go play fast. Derek Dooley is now your offensive coordinator. He comes from the NFL with the Dallas Cowboys. Drew Locke in his press conference this week shared a story about getting to call Tony Romo on the phone for some advice. What kind of a resource has Derek Dooley been for your offense? Well, it's our responsibility with our kids, with, with our student athletes, to give them every resource uh, possible to, for them to, to be able to have success. And uh, that's one area that Derek is, is talented in on the ability to be able to connect. Finally, what are the keys that you're really emphasizing this week as you prepare for UT Martin on Saturday? You know, the thing we've, we've got to do on, on all three phases of the game is we've got to play one, one play at a time. Don't worry about the previous result, whether it's a touchdown or, or a tackle for loss. Uh, we've got to focus on the here and now. Make sure that we do everything right leading up to that you know, first kick and then play the game uh, you know, as, as cleanly as possible. You want you know, to, to come out of it and, and not have any penalties, to not turn over the ball, defensively get the ball back. You get in the red zone, a red area, offensively come away with points, be a clean tackling team. And at the, at the end of it, just play good team football. Barry, thanks for your time. Good luck on Saturday. Thanks. Time to start taking a closer look at Barry Odom's 2018 Tigers, starting on the offensive side of the ball, presented by Edward Jones, making sense of investing. You got to have an identity and you got to have things you hang your hat on and that's kind of where we're headed right now. It kind of gets decided over the course of camp, you know, it's what, what kind of our, what fits our personnel, what fits our quarterback, what fits our receivers and offensive line. How's the O-line coming together so far? We're, we're good. We're meshing. You know, we're, we're learning how Davis does camp. Up, up. Come on, David, get that. What's up? Sam? I said before, we, we did a lot of learning, you know, learning concepts, learning each other even more, learning Coach Davis and Coach Dooley. You have a really deep group, top to bottom, a lot of talent. Our big leader is, uh, is Kendall Blanton, and he's been here uh, all three years, and uh, he's really stepped up his game. He started about mid last year, really being 
uh, a leader for this football team, leader for this offense, and especially in our room. Everybody listens to him when he talks. Um, then you got Albert, who obviously put up uh, the big numbers last year. Uh, had a real good year receiving, and uh, he just kind of found out, man, I belong out here. You know, I mean, I'm six foot six, 262 pounds. No one's going to push me around. Set, hit. With the new things that are coming into the offense, what is the role for, for your running backs? Is there anything new and different for them? No, we, we've tried. We've added some things. I think that's been plus for us. Um, you know, we're, we're, we're a little more downhill. Larry's probably a little bit more downhill guy, um, and Croc's a little bit more of a make you miss type guy. Um, we're, we're, you know, pushing them both to be, to be, you know, have both qualities. The most experienced guys in the room are, uh, you know, obviously Manuel Hall, who had a big season second half of last year. Jonathan Johnson, who's been a consistent performer for us for the last two years. He, he's emerged as a real leader in the room. Uh, you know, our guys all look to him kind of as a catalyst to get us going. Uh, incredibly physical. Emmanuel Hall, one of the best big play wide receivers in the SEC. The thing I'm most proud of is how he's really uh, taking on the challenge of trying to expand his game and really emerge as a route runner and a guy who's going to be a, uh, a very consistent pass catcher. Uh, and you know, that's a skill set that you develop. It's not just an innate thing. And, and he's gone and, and really went to work on those things and his shoulder in practice. Got quite the dynamic duo kicking the ball. The Tony and McCann are about as good as it gets, aren't they? They are professional about how they go about their business. And that's real key because if you can be you know, inconsistent as a person and certainly as a preparation to go practice and certainly play, then you'll be inconsistent out there. And those guys have uh, had success. Mizzou football is proud to partner with Missouri Credit Union to sack hunger in Missouri. For each Tiger sack during the 2018 football season, Missouri Credit Union will donate $100 to the Food Bank for Central and Northeast Missouri. Dilly dilly. Greg, you're alive. Where'd you go? Get beer. Wait, so you escaped the pit of misery and you came back? Yeah, with Bud Light. That is the dumbest thing that I oh, ever... Oh, shut up, Doug. Yeah, shut up, Doug. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly! dilly. dilly. So, what I miss? Kevin cried. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Here's to the friends you can always count on. Tiger fan? How'd you guess? Whoa. Show the world your true colors with Tiger Checking from Central Bank. This is a proclamation from Mizzou. We've got something to say. Show me the world through someone else's eyes. Show me what happens when chemists tackle cancer. Show me every side. Show me my career while I'm still taking classes. Show me how to go fast. No, really fast. Show me the truth. Show me how to thrive. Show me. Show me. Show me what you've got. You're going to go take care of business, and we are not going to be denied stay on our home court. Oh, baby, the reverse layout for Sophie. Pretty stuff from Amber Smith. 11,000 Tiger fans up and loud again. Aldridge free, got it. Backdoor mounts are cutting him. Things are rolling in. No doubt about it. Mizzou, the better team today. Show Me 2018 is presented by MU Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way. Mizzou's defense is stacked with experience, including six returning starters from last season. Here's a closer look at the defense headed up by first-year defensive coordinator Ryan Walters. You got a young group, but they're really not that young, are they? I mean, guys with a sophomore next to their name have some pretty, pretty dang good experience, don't they? There's no doubt. I mean, you look at, you know, some guys like Sparks who started half the year, Christian Holmes who, you know, got injured after redshirt. He's a redshirt sophomore, but he's been around. You know what I mean? Josh Bledsoe had quality snaps last year. How important do Cam Hilton and Demarcus Acey become as those two older guys? Um, it becomes important. You know what I mean? Uh, just in terms of, of attention to detail and focus and, and making sure everybody's on the same page. You see a lot of of, of good good things and flashes from a guy like Khalil Oliver who's played 
um, quality quality snaps at a, at a high level in the Power Five Conference. How's your group coming together? Pretty good. Uh, I think we've got a good mixture of uh, older guys and younger guys, and I think those guys are actually trying to uh, to get some camaraderie together. How do you like your depth, especially on the inside? I really like our depth inside. I think we've got enough big bodies in there that can give us some quality uh, minutes. Uh, you know, those guys have been here a while. Uh, we don't have any young guys in that group, so all those guys are veterans. Terry Beckner, obviously very talented. What's the next level that you'd like to see him go to as a senior? Uh, basically for Terry right now, I just want to see him continue to grow as a man and continue to go and play as fast as he can and to come back here and to be a technician in the things that he's trying to get done up front. How do you like the split, breaking up the linebackers and you getting to focus on, on the inside guys? Oh, well, it's, it's good because you can kind of concentrate on what it is that they have to do. You know, a, a lot of times the linebacker coach has all three of them, and then you gotta, you got to get somebody else to coach that outside guy because he's always out in space. We have the luxury of having a, a big-time coach coaching that guy. There's nothing that we don't do. We're going to rush the passer. We're going to play nine technique. We'll be in the box. We'll be having the man on number two. There'll be even times when we'll be the post safety. In our room, you look at you look at a guy like Brandon Lee, who's played a lot of games in the past. He's an outstanding athlete. Kale and, and, and Therese are guys that have been in the fire and they've played a lot. They're, they're veteran guys, and uh, so I'm leaning on them. They're kind of the glue that kind of keeps the defense together. Um, and they are also some guys that can really make your defense great. Playing college football is a demanding commitment, both physically and emotionally. Football may dominate a player's time, but as we see in senior linebacker Brandon Lee, there is more to most Tigers than what you see on the field. Picture this. Six foot two inches, 225 pounds, a leader, a linebacker, an artist. Picture Brandon Lee. I've never been like an uh, arts and crafts type of guy. I can't really draw. I've always been interested in pictures. I got a camera about two years ago, Nikon D71. Um, a lot of people called me crazy for spending that much money on a camera, but uh, it was an interest of mine. You know, Brandon's a guy that you could tell me anything like that, it wouldn't surprise me. It's his getaway from the grind of football and the MBA he's currently pursuing in the classroom. Out on his own, the perfect hobby for a self-described introvert. The picture taken is something I can do by myself or I can do it with a friend or anybody that wants to tag along. That's what we did on this picture-perfect Missouri day in August, the first time that Lee ever took photos of his home away from home, Faro Field. You've never shot the stadium before. The place you play, you've never really taken pictures, right? Never have. His inspiration comes from everywhere. Home, travels, natural splendor. Often the people in his life end up in his work. But ironically, some of the most vibrant images Brandon encounters stay only in his mind. Each week in the fall, he experiences the pageantry of the SEC. But there's no picture taking on game day. On Saturday, Lee's focus is reserved for the field. I need to get out more. Maybe Sundays or Mondays following the game or something just to kind of escape from the whole season thing. Nobody knows better than a football player that reps make you better, right? Exactly. That's, uh, that's been the, the whole process. Uh, the more I do it, the better I get. Which is exactly how his football career has played out. Lee worked his way up, playing all three linebacker positions while at Mizzou, developing into a starter as a fifth-year senior. He's an extremely smart player. He's a guy that, that knows where everybody around him fits. He can get a defense lined up. The more you can do, the more you can play. The more opportunities you have to be on the field to help the team. And that's, that's what I want to do, uh, first and foremost, is just be out there to contribute in any kind of way that I can. Blood, sweat, and tears all throughout the year. Um, on the other side with my MBA, uh, my academics has always been important to me. A desire to grow. Finance degree already in his back pocket. Working on his MBA, hoping to play in the NFL and always on the hunt for that perfect picture. By no means am I saying I'm a, a great photographer or anything like that, but uh, I aspire to be one. And uh, the more time that I get to practice it, the better that I'll be. It's, it's all like a puzzle, and uh, I don't know exactly how many people there are in the world, but I feel that if I, if I do my job and try to have an effect on others' lives, um, I feel that that's my piece of the puzzle and that's the best that I can do is try to have an effect on someone else. Mizzou Athletics would like to thank our premier partners, MU Healthcare and Shelter Insurance.
It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue, or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> The University of Missouri is a, is a destination. I expect us to do everything at a championship level. It's a new day. It's a new year of Mizzou athletics. When we leave Columbia, we're representing a great university and a lot of people in the great state of Missouri. I don't think there's anything that Mizzou's lacking. Let's focus on the front of our jersey, and this is what you guys came to do, is build a program. You're always going to remember this game. You're going to remember pulling into the stadium. You'll remember most of the plays, and obviously you'll remember the outcome. If we take care of our business, then this will be one of the greatest environments to play in in college football. We need the fans here. Uh, we're going to give them a reason to come support us. Alberto wide open at the three. Touchdown, Missouri. Join us September 8th in the zoo as the Tigers take on the Wyoming Cowboys. Get your tickets at mutigers.com or 1-800-CAT-PAWS. This portion of Show Me 2018 is presented by Shelter Insurance for your auto, home, and life. We're your shield. We're your shelter. What's your name? What's the history behind it? And what does all that mean to you? There's a sophomore tight end on the Mizzou football team who has some pretty strong answers to all of those questions. And if you didn't know his name a year ago, you certainly do now. You know him as Albert O, SEC All-Freshman Team 2017. But that's just surface level. Dig deeper and start with his unique moniker. My full name is Albert Shukwemeka Okuebuna. And what does it mean? My middle name means God has done wonderful for us, and then my last name means evil cannot bring us down. Few succeeded in grounding Albert O as a freshman when he caught more touchdowns than any other tight end in the whole country. It's how he became a household name in college football circles, even if some still struggle to pronounce his name. When he walks in the meeting room, I make sure he knows I know his last name. Yeah. Albert Okwebunam. Albert Okwebunam. How many times did it take you to get it down? It took a few. It really helped once he started making more plays at practice. You know, people started making plays, you know. You learn the kid's name. Okwebunam. You didn't expect me to know that one, huh? Spell it. Oh! <laughs> I don't think I can do that one. O-K-W-U-E-G-B-U-N-A-M. -E Eleven letters that traveled all the way from Nigeria to begin Albert O's destiny. His father moved from Onisha, Nigeria to Springfield, Illinois at the age of 19 for college. He worked really hard, he worked three jobs, you know, paid off his school tuition. You know, he didn't qualify for financial aid because, you know, he was a, he was a newly, uh, you know, new citizen coming over here. Graduated without any school debt, you know, paid it all off. And, you know, that was real inspiration for me growing up, you know, just how hard he worked, you know, to get to where he is now. Albert's father not only worked and went to school, he earned his citizenship and met and later married Albert's mother. Quite a bit for a teenage immigrant to take on. So when Albert tells you he appreciates his scholarship and his chance to play in the SEC, you know he's telling the truth. Just to imagine his circumstances and what he had to do to um, put himself in the spot he is now, it's just, it's just made me really, really grateful for my father. He's got a purpose in what he's doing. He knows where he wants to be. You know, when you're a little kid, you don't understand these things. So, you know, growing up, uh, you know, my dad, you know, just pushing me to do better. You know, you, as a kid, you kind of brush it off. You think it's annoying. And the older I got, more mature I got, I'd always look back at that. And it's grown into a really, really deep appreciation and love that I have for my dad. Hearing about all the hard work his father did and how much Albert respects it, his quick rise in college football becomes much less surprising. Names are just surface level, but they can tell you so much about the person inside. Just ask Albert and his dad. What's his name? His name's Albert. You know, I'm, I'm a junior, so yeah. <laughs> same name? Yep, same name. Same approach to life? Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
Shop the Tiger Team Store, the official store of Mizzou Athletics, with the largest selection of official Mizzou gear. Visit any Tiger Team Store location on game day or shop every day at TigerTeamStore.com. Men, women, dilly dilly! Sure, we may be outnumbered. 20 to 1, they may have more men, more horses. They have arrows with fire, which probably don't hurt more than the regular ones. Look, I'm gonna level with you guys. We're out of Bud Light. And they have some! So dilly dilly! It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Rogue. With available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Central Bank is your hometown bank and the only place for Tiger checking. Open an account today at www.centralbank.net. Time to flash back with your local Trusted Choice independent insurance agent. Visit TrustedChoice.com to find an agent in your area. Perhaps the greatest all-purpose threat in Mizzou football history, Jeremy Macklin saved one of his greatest performances for last. Weeks after his final game with Mizzou, Macklin would emotionally declare for the NFL draft after just two seasons in the black and gold. But before the tears came one final triumph. On the heels of their second straight division championship, Mizzou met Northwestern in the Alamo Bowl. Perhaps knowing this would be his final game as a Tiger, Macklin came to play. Low spiral, Macklin takes it at the 25, gets to the 30, 35, a seam to the 40. Macklin to midfield, outruns the kicker. Macklin is going to take it to the house. Touchdown Missouri on an electrifying return by the All-American. Macklin's 75-yard punt return for a touchdown sparked the Tigers, who came alive in the second half. Pumps, throws, crossing pattern, Alexander, touchdown Missouri. Denario Alexander on the receiving end. But after Northwestern regained the lead, the Tigers needed a field goal late in the fourth quarter to force overtime. In OT, Chase Daniel, also playing his last game as a Tiger, looked for his favorite receiver. Daniel takes the snap, bobbles it, now throws it in the end zone, caught by Macklin for the touchdown. Jeremy Macklin's final TD as a Tiger lifted Mizzou to the win. He affected every facet of the game. Seven catches, 43 rushing yards, a punt return for a TD, and the game-winning score. Vintage J-Mac. You know, I, like I said, I've seen a lot, then battled through a lot with these guys on the team and stuff like that. Uh, I don't regret it. Uh, it's been the best experience of my life. Well, more great memories will surely be made this fall, so be sure to join us all season long. Visit MBTigers.com or call 1-800-CAT-PAWS to buy your tickets today. For everyone here at Mizzou Athletics, we thank you for watching, and we hope to see you plenty of times right here at the Zoo this fall. Show Me 2018, the Mizzou Football Preview, was presented by Bud Light, official sponsor of Mizzou Athletics, reminding you to enjoy responsibly. University of Missouri Healthcare, Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, where yes finds a way.